Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcasting to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Israel's political scene is in turmoil with just a little over two months before Israeli citizens above the age of 18 will flood polling stations across the state on the 9th of April for the purpose of choosing Jerusalem's future leadership. Thousands of Israeli demonstrators took to the streets of Tel Aviv to protest against police brutality following the death of an Israeli man from Ethiopian descent who was killed after rushing toward officers with a knife in hand. It has been revealed that the commander of the militant wing of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, which is openly backed by Iran, was responsible for violating the truce arrangement understandings that was reached between Israel and the Islamist organizations in Gaza amid a power struggle for the leadership of the Iranian proxy. Israel's political scene is in turmoil with just a little over two months before Israeli citizens above the age of 18 will flood polling stations across the state on the 9th of April for the purpose of electing Jerusalem's future leadership. While Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu continues to lead the polls, which were published on domestic broadcasters last night, a new contender in Israel's political arena is closely tailing the veteran Israeli leader. Former IDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General and Reserve Benny Gantz, who chairs the newly established Israel Resilience Party, is perceived for the first time in years as the major obstacle for Prime Minister Netanyahu's aspiration to win, together with his ruling Likud faction, his fifth term in office. In a poll published on Israel's Channel 13, which upheld the smallest margin of error of 3.7 percent, General Gantz and Prime Minister Netanyahu are neck and neck when it comes to the Israeli public's opinion on who is better suited to serve as the country's next Prime Minister, both receiving 42 percent. That said, within Israel's parliamentary system, the leader of the largest party usually receives the president's mandate to form a coalition that demands a majority within the parliament's 120 seats. According to all polls that were published last night, Netanyahu's ruling Likud faction continues to lead with 30 mandates, while General Gantz's Israel Resilience Party is expected to win between 21 to 24 mandates if elections were held today. The polls further indicated, however, that if Chairman Yair Lapid of the centrist faction Yeshati joins forces with General Gantz, the Israel Resilience Party will surpass Netanyahu's Likud, winning 35 mandates. Earlier this week, Lieutenant General and Reserve Benny Gantz announced his candidacy for Prime Minister, declaring it was time to replace what he termed as the toxic government under the leadership of Benjamin Netanyahu. המתח בין יהודים ללא יהודים מאיים עלינו. הערבות ההדדית מתפוררת, הפוליטיקה מכוערת והזירה הציבורית מורעלת. בעיניים קלות אני מביט כיום במנהיגות שעסוקה בעצמה, לא בכם ולא בנו. האמינו לי, אני גאה במדינה שלנו. אני לעולם לא אתבייש בה. אבל לאחרונה יותר ויותר אנשים, מימין כמו גם משמאל, וגם אני בהם, חשים מבוכה עמוקה לנוכח האופן שבו ההנהגה שלנו מתנהלת. ממשלה חזקה מושלת כדי לאחד ולא מפרידה כדי למשול. <אז> חברים, כמוכם בדיוק אני מרגיש שהגיעה העת למנהיגות מחברת, מאחדת ומלכדת. מנהיגות שתנהג אחרת ותנהיג אחרת. <אז> תודה. לכן אני עומד כאן לפניכם, ארבע שנים אחרי שסיימתי את, את כהונתי כרמטכ"ל, ומבקש את אמונכם כדי שאוכל להנהיג את מדינת ישראל. The former IDF chief of staff also touched base on the challenges Israel faces from its regional enemies and vowed to pursue a tough stance on the Islamic Republic of Iran and its allies in Lebanon and the Gaza Strip, emphasizing that only the strong can prevail in the volatile Middle East. 
במזרח התיכון הקשה והאלים שבסביבנו לא מרחמים על החלשים ורק החזק מנצח. With regard to the question of peace, General Gunz declared that he would never make concessions on Jerusalem's unity, but underscored his aspiration to pursue peace and continue a regional trend of change. In response to the allegations leveled by General Benny Gantz, Prime Minister Bimi Netanyahu released a statement in which he accused his new rival of holding leftist sentiments. Netanyahu underscored in his statement that he who says that there is no right nor left is left. While separate election campaigns are slowly emerging, with each faction trying to convince the public of their capacity to bring about change primarily on domestic issues, a few thousands of Israeli demonstrators took to the streets to protest against police brutality following the death of an Israeli man from Ethiopian descent. While the 24-year-old Yehuda Biadga was shot dead by police officers after he rushed towards them with a knife in hand, Israelis of the Ethiopian community and the Jewish state accused police of using lethal force against a man because of his skin color, rather than seeking to neutralize the attacker, who was later classified as suffering from a mental illness. Today we are protesting against, uh, against the police brutality. We feel and on the, on the field that somehow, we don't know the reason, we call it racism, but uh, our community are hurt. While the protest for the most part remained orderly, a group of the demonstrators attempted to block a highway and scuffled with riot police. Police statements said following the incident that 11 demonstrators were arrested as a result and that six police officers sustained minor injuries. Now in other news, it has been revealed that the commander of the militant wing of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad in the northern Gaza Strip, which is openly backed by Iran, was responsible for violating the truce arrangement understandings that were reached between Israel and the Islamist organizations in Gaza in the last few months, including the sniper fire last week, and that he has continued to try to cause the situation to escalate. The terrorist Abu al-Atta, also known as Abu Salim, survived an assassination attempt in the past by Israel when the building that he was in was targeted in a 2012 Gaza war, which is dubbed in Israel as Operation Pillar of Defense. According to Palestinian sources, Abu Salim is currently in a power struggle with the leader of the Islamic Jihad, Ziad Nahala, who is currently living in Lebanon. In response to the report, which was initially revealed by Israeli media and verified by TV7, the Islamic Jihad's military wing issued an official statement in which it said that the incitement against Abu al-Atta would not sway it from continuing on its jihadist path, but would rather make it more resolute. It is important to know that the current leader of the Islamic Jihad, Ziya Nakhala, is considered to be the key reason for the strong support of the Islamic Republic of Iran to the Gaza Strip, including to Hamas and the Islamic Jihad, and plays a key role in transferring Iran's support to the Palestinian organizations within the enclave. Furthermore, intelligence sources told TV7 that contrary to Abu Salim, Nakhala has close relations to senior Iranian officials, including Qasem Soleimani, the commander of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Quds Force. Thank you for watching us. Praying for the peace of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. I'm Jonathan Hassan. Have a Erev Tov, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.